Um, just give us an idea of what this season's been like for you. It's been pretty eventful, hasn't it? Alone away and, yeah. and now back with the first team here. Yeah, obviously, I went out um, at the start of the season on loan to Warrington. Um, it was a good experience, good to get men's football early in. Um, and yeah, I didn't enjoy my time over there and obviously um, come back now and obviously hopefully I can try and kick on for the club. Just give us an impression of what it was like playing in those men's games for Warrington. You, you've played League Two football here. Yeah. How much of a difference was it? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a physical league, uh, some big boys in it. Um, obviously, like I said, it's good to get men's football. It's obviously a different type of game. It's very direct. Um, obviously, not much of the ball is played on the ground. Um, but yeah, it was a good experience. Um, and I enjoyed the, the test week in, week out. Has it given you the sort of appetite to go out on loan again if, if the possibility's there? Yeah, obviously it's up to the club. Um, obviously, if they want me to go out on loan, then it's up to them. Um, but at the minute and then, I'm just focusing on trying to do my best for the club here. Yeah, you, you featured quite regularly last season in terms of being in a matchday squad and, and started, I think, seven games in, in League Two already. How's that gone for you? How much have you, you learned since getting that opportunity? Yeah, obviously each game, as a young lad, it's, um, it's a learning experience. You come up against different players week in, week out. Um, and obviously it's a, it's a tough test. Um, obviously you've got to be sharp, you've got to be thinking 24-7 when you're playing during the games. and You've just got to make sure you try and put yourself in the best position to, um, to go forward. Yeah, and, and in terms of that, from how you played, how would you sort of evaluate how it went when you were part of it a lot last season? Um, probably 50-50 really, obviously. I've done some good things at times and some bad things at times. It's about learning about the bad things and, and trying to improve on them. And it's about taking the good things as they come and again, trying to improve on them. Um, but obviously, yeah, it's, a, it's a tough test playing, playing League 2 football. Um, obviously, it's a good experience for you and um, you just got to make sure you try and take the opportunity. You're bound to make it mistakes here and there aren't you when you're first getting the opportunity because however many youth team games that you play you just can't replicate what what a senior game's like yeah, obviously it's, it's hard to replicate it um, as you football like you said it's, it's a different type of football and um, you're up against men people who are bigger stronger than you um, being around the league's got experience and obviously you can teach experience um, so it's about learning about the players in front of you learning how to defend different different strikers Plenty of time on your side. You're, you're 20 be just before Christmas, yeah. I think. So th there's plenty of time to develop. You said it's up to the club what they want to do. At the moment, the defence looks pretty settled, doesn't it, in, in the league games. So yeah. you're going to have to be patient, aren't you? Yeah, obviously the lads, Faz, Sack, um, Sonny, Don, when he's been there, they've been unbelievable. Obviously they've kept two clean sheets now on the back at home. Um, and obviously they're doing well for the club. And as long as the, the club's getting points on the boards, then it doesn't really matter who's starting, as long as the club's um, thriving and getting points on the Saturday. It's been a tough start, hasn't it? But you, you're definitely seeing some light at the end of the tunnel now, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. We, we knew the performances at the start of the season. Um, those good performances, we just weren't really getting the points uh, that we deserved and, and what showed for the performances. Um, so now we're starting to see um, points on the ball and it's good. It's good for the morale. Um, everyone, everyone's getting behind each other and obviously hopefully we can kick on now further into the season. Just give us an idea of what this competition's like to be involved in. You've played in it already this season. What, are you a fan of this trophy? Yeah, I think obviously it's good for young lads. It's good to, for them to get um, experience. Obviously, I think some lads made the debut in the competition in the last game. and It's good for them. It's good for players who are sort of trying to get into the team, stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a good competition in terms of, the, obviously, we're playing Everton under 21s. It's good for them to play men's football, stuff like that. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's a good, uh, good competition on the whole. So because of that, like you say, you've been playing some non-league football this season. You'll be up against some 21 players this time around. That's going to be a completely different proposition, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a different test, but you've got to rise to it. Um, we know they'll be up for the game. We've got a match start. We've got to go even further than them. Uh, and hopefully we can kick on and try and get results tomorrow. In terms of qualification for the next round, whatever the result is in this game, you're not going to know because the other two teams are not playing. Is that a bit of a frustration? You can only, you can only um, affect what's in front of you. Um, so we can't have an effect on teams that are around us in, in this competition. We've just got to focus on the game and um, obviously not think about that. Um, and just focus on who we're playing and, and what we're trying to do. Just winning is the only exactly, thing that matters yeah. in this competition, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you, you know what you've got to do to stand half a chance of getting through. Yeah, 100%. It's all about winning. Every game's about winning. Um, and obviously, we're going to try and do our best to, to win tomorrow as well. Have you played against some of these Everton boys before in any friendlies no, or no. anything like that? Yeah, no, I haven't, to be fair. Obviously, it's a good test. We'll be very technical on the ball. and Obviously, they're at a big club. Um, so, yeah, that'll be a good test. 
and if the manager selects you to start the game, do you, do you centre any sort of pressure to, to show him what you can do or do you, do you pretty much play stress-free? Um, I think it's a difficult one to be fair. Obviously every game you go out and play a football club, you want to do your best, you want to make a good impression. Um, and for me personally, obviously I get the start, I'm going to try and do everything I can to, to play well and, and to make an impression on the game.